as you have seen and heard so far tonight, these are almost giddy times for the LGBT movement in the United States. As Jennifer said earlier, many of the things we thought of as dreams only 15 years ago are coming to pass. Likewise, as she said, we are ready for some big new dreams for our community, for our movement, and for both our country and the world, because we know things are not yet right and finished in our own country, and certainly not in many places around the world, as you got a glimpse of from John Wambere tonight. So as we ponder whether a golden age for LGBT people is dawning in the US, I want to draw us back a moment to a real golden age in our movement, back to the 1970s and 1980s. A lot of people responsible for that heady time found themselves here in Boston. People like Michael Bronsky, Kevin Cathcart, Cindy Patton, Richard Burns, Amy Hoffman, Eric Rofus, Mitzel, Cindy Rizzo, Charlie Shively, John Ward, GLAD's founder, and yes, our honoree tonight, Irva Shivad. And many of them had ties to both gay community news and GLAD, particularly and obviously the lawyers, including Irvishi. It's really fun for me to recall those days in the early 80s when Irvishi, as a law student, was bringing some order to GLAD's early days as a full-time Northeastern co-op student, sitting in, the, <laughs> sitting in the one room designated for GLAD in John Ward's law offices at Two Park Square. Little did we know then precisely what Irvishi would accomplish in the ensuing 30 plus years, but we certainly knew it would be spectacular because of her intellect, her passion, and her infectious personality. You can read for yourself in the program of how Irv has gone from success to success as an organizer, administrator, founder, author, public intellectual, educator, and human rights activist with so many more chapters yet to be written. Since our aspiration at GLAD is to present our Spirit of Justice Award to someone with a career of achievement in advancing LGBT movement, we have certainly hit the jackpot tonight. But I want to take a few moments that I have left to focus on what I think is a core strand of Irvishi's work and what I sense she has been trying to teach us in all her varied roles in our movement to date. It is that we didn't begin this movement to be admitted to the existing status quo. A status quo that frankly doesn't work to bring equality and justice and dignity to everyone, including so many people in the LGBT and HIV communities. This movement began with the goal of contributing rather to the reinvention of the existing society. In Irvishi's own words, one would think a movement emerging from sexual difference and sexually based prejudice would make a more overt effort to address and reinvent the underlying norms, arguments, and traditional ways of thinking used to uphold the status quo. And so as we celebrate the advance of marriage equality, which is truly a remarkable step towards full legal equality, Irvishi reminds us of this. Inequality and anti-LGBT prejudice will not end. LGBT people of color will still experience racial disparities. Bias, violence, and harassment of transgender persons will not have ended. In the short, while marriage equality may signal to many that same-sex equality has been achieved, the work of the LGBT liberation movement will be far from finished. So, as we shape our big new dreams for the future, it would be wise for us to listen to Irvishi. And so it is my privilege 
and great honor to present GLAD's 2014 Spirit of Justice Award to a woman from a golden age of our movement's beginnings who calls us to our better selves, our broader goals, and our deepest commitments in order to create a new golden age for everyone in our world. Irvish Evad.